Well, hello there, Taurus. Welcome. This is going to be a career and finance reading. So let's see what's going on for Taurus. What do you need to know about your career or business? Let's see. We have... Oh, release. So this is... um. This is Scorpio energy. This is the death card. Um, so this is something ending for something new to begin. And also it's a peacock. So strut your stuff. Yes. It's time to release the past and move on to something new. This ending is a first step on a way to a happier future. So maybe you're going to leave a job or maybe a business uh, to move on to something new. Something almost feels like something doing something on your own and, and showing what you can do because it almost feels like you are hidden behind others is what i'm feeling for somebody here so this is so with the release it'll be like this the um death card which will be ending for new beginning a rebirth transformation okay let's clarify this release card for you why is that here and we have Oh, we have the emperor because you're coming into your power. Yes, I like it. So you have a plan of action here. You know what you want to do. You feel very strong and confident. That's what I'm feeling. I'm tapping into someone's energy. It feels very strong. Um, you have a lot of financial re uh, responsibilities, but you're able to take on that because you like to be in authority. You like to be in control. And um, you just, it's just feels good it just feels right to you so whatever you're planning it just feels right that's why you're doing it you're ending something that is like it's not fulfilling it's not it's not doing it for you so you're moving on now you also could be dealing with an aries here um i'm just going to name out the the signs here so if that resonates with anybody but this is your energy that's what i feel could, so for some you could be dealing with this energy if it's if they're the boss or something like that I really feel mostly it's yours. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Let's shuffle those enough. Um, what can you do to move forward? We have the world. Okay. So this is completing something to start something new. But also we have the ship, ship, Shetland Sheepdog. Congratulations on successfully accomplishing what you set out to do. You made it through the challenge challenges and incorporate the lessons life offered you with grace and courage so whatever you're trying to this is amazing right after the release card right after the death there's a new beginning you ended a cycle here you started something brand new this sounds so good i'm liking this reading so just do what you're doing what can you do to move forward just do what you're doing you're ending a cycle start something new that's what it feels like something new is coming in for you okay let's see let's clarify the world and we have the ace of coins so it's bringing in money too and new opportunities coming your way this if there, you get an offer it's going to be a very secure offer there's a golden opportunity come to you and you're going to be in the right place at the right time and things are just going to fall into place so i don't know what you're doing but keep on doing it okay now how can you be more financially successful okay let's see how can you be more financially successful three of summer we'll have a good time that's what you need to do so maybe you have to go out and um mingle so we have hummingbird you have an exciting reason to celebrate such as an engagement a wedding a graduation or a birth announcement remember to cherish those you love so okay pay attention to your personal life and you'll be fi more financially successful have some fun go out have a good time go out on a date and if you're married you know go out with your spouse on a date have some fun okay and let's see here let's clarify this three of summer wow we got the wheel um boy your reading is really amazing this is so good oh my gosh so this is this is a turning point things are shifting i feel like everything's changing once you decide to make this move here whatever you're doing here to put an ending to something to start something new your luck is going to change you're going to feel on top of the world here and things are just going to shift and you know a lucky lucky time for you with the the wheel this is divine timing is destiny you're destined for this. this is a new cycle again this is a cycle this, this is a turning point you're on a roll things are just happening nice and you're having a good time and that's the whole thing have a good time uh where or what do you need to improve 
Where or what do you need to improve? Let's see. Queen of Spring. So, this is... Oops. Talented, brilliant, independent, charming. And this could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. It could just be the, you know, attributes of someone here. Persian Cat. It could be your attributes. Don't underestimate your ability to manifest your dreams. You may have several priorities vying for your attention at once. But you can do it. So, there's a lot going on for you. And it's just the idea that you have to... um. Not underestimate yourself. Know that you can do it. You can achieve anything you want to achieve. And that's what this is saying here. Okay, now let's clarify this Queen of Spring. Queen of Wands. And we have, oh, we have the Eight of Wands. Things are moving for you. Wow. Okay, so this is saying that, you know, you might be traveling for business. This is good news is coming, a uh, speedy communication. This could be um, a lot of projects going on, a lot of things. Again, with the Queen of Spring, it goes right here. You're very, very busy. Also, if you're uh, communication, it might be back and forth communication. Nice. Okay. What or whom is an obstacle you need to overcome? And we have the magician, the unicorn. There is magic in the air. You can manifest everything you need to be successful. So only obstacle I have is you're not believing. You have to believe you have everything you need to do this. You are the magician. This is also representative of Aries and Aquarius. So if you're dealing with Aries or Aquarius. But this is just saying you, you are the unicorn. You are unique. You are able to do whatever you put your mind to. Loving this. Okay, let's clarify the magician. And we have the devil. Hmm. Okay. Now with the devil, we put the magician and the devil. Some might be trying to do a little black magic on you, but just you know, stay the course because you are far stronger. I feel like you have a lot of protection around you with all these other cards. I wouldn't worry about this devil. Not at all. Could be dealing also with a Capricorn. Someone could just be trying to start some trouble. This is someone trying to put the kibosh on you. If you're doing so well and they're jealous, if there's like competition in the in the business or something like that, they might be looking to put a little um little spell on you or something but I wouldn't worry about it. and this could also be referring to like a toxic workplace or someone that abandoned the principles um, you know I but I really think it's um, nothing for you to worry about because you are the magician and I think you got it all under control now what is coming in especially there's too many positive cards around you what is coming in in the near future for you you are the Emperor and you are the magician so Never mind this devil. <laughs> we oh, the ten of summer. Wow, there's a happy family life. This is, you know, look at that. The mama and the, and the papa and the babies, and look how loving they are. How nice. This is prairie dog. Let me. I'm moving this. Not showing to you. Here's the prairie dogs. They're so cute. And um, it's time to express your love and appreciation for family be it relatives or chosen family or close friends congratulations may be in order on a happy fulfilling marriage as well as raising happy balanced children yeah so your home life is going to be really great now and that's coming in the near future you're going to be really happy at home in your love life your family life okay let's see let's clarify the ten of summer and we have ooh, on top of the ten of summer you get the ten of coins this is a long-term commitment this is being really happy. Um, you might also have a lot of money come in or uh, inheritance or, you know, just everything looks good here. You are manifesting this. Never mind that devil. That devil could go take a walk because you have this ten of summer, ten of coins. So it's ten of summers, ten of cups, and then the ten of coins, ten of pentacles. And we have, I don't know why I looked at that. That I don't want to look until the bottom. This is making a choice, not trying to decide what to do with two of swords. I don't know why I flipped that over. Let's see. Um, what is, whom or what is helping you? Whom or what is helping you? Let's see. We have the emperor again. So this is you being in your power. 
Dear Mouse, structure and organization are important right now. Don't be afraid to take a leadership role as you have much wisdom to offer. Yes, you can be in control. You have the power. You are smart. You can do whatever you need to do here. You can um, be in full control. Be the leader. Uh, you might even be getting a better position with um, more responsibilities. Okay, but I think this is you coming to your power. It could be someone helping you that is an Aries that maybe is a boss or someone... Um, that is above you, but I feel like it's your energy. But you know, take it as it resonates. Let's clarify this, Emperor. We have judgment, okay? So, with judgment, there's gonna be a second chance for something, something coming back around, making a decision on something. Yeah, you're gonna have to decide on something here. So, something's coming in, something's coming back around, a second chance. You might be uh, um, also waiting for results on something. Okay, now, your potential outcome. What is your potential outcome? And we have Ace of Autumn. Oh, look at that. The Ace of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Pentacles here. Ace of Pen okay, money is coming to you. This is good. Calico Cap. You can expect a windfall of abundance such as money, timely assistance, a serendipitous mating, or a rewarding advice you you may be offered a fabulous new job or a promotion on the or the prospect of a profitable business venture or investment wow okay this is an awesome read guys amazing well let me see what's on the bottom now since this is the last card here we have before spring oh look at the otters they're so cute <laughs> and it's uh it's time to kick back relax and celebrate all that you have Joy arises from success in your career, the completion of a project, or a very happy home life. Yeah, you definitely have that. This for a spring, like the four of wands. This is marriage. This is a commitment. This is moving in with someone. This is being very happy. And it looks like you're going to be very happy in your career and your personal life. Okay, let's clarify this Ace of Autumn. I'm loving this for you. I'm so happy for you. I'm feeling it. I'm just feeling this energy. That's why you manifest, though. You have to feel it. And I'm feeling this. So you guys... Get ready. You got to feel it. <laughs> now let's see. Why is the Ace of Autumn here? We have the Four of Coins. Okay. Now with the Four of Coins, someone's hanging on to something here. Um, someone's worried about something. Maybe they're afraid when they get this coming in, they're afraid they might lose it. So get that out of your head here. Someone might be holding on to you. You might be holding on to someone else, or maybe you're holding on to a job that is not serving you. But if you do that, then you're not going to get this. So I don't think so. But be cautious of that energy there. And the bottom we have, we have the Three of Wands. This is very nice. So um, with the Three of Wands, this is, this is rewards coming. There's going to be a payoff. And it's on the horizon. If you don't see this yet, it's coming. And that's probably why this card came up to let you know this is coming. For whatever work you put out there, it's coming towards you now. Your rewards are coming in. And uh, this, this reading is absolutely fantastic. I'm so happy for you. It seems like everything's going your way. You're going to be really happy in your career. You're going to be um, doing what you want to do, loving your job, and manifesting like crazy. And this is also a lot of happiness in your career and your personal life, which is really a hard thing to do. <laughs> okay, let's see now. What signs do we have for Taurus? What signs can Taurus be dealing with? Okay. We have Gemini. Sagittarius. Pisces. Leo. Virgo. At the bottom we have Taurus again. So these could be placements in your chart, placement in other people's chart. This could be, you know, co-workers, associates. This could be clients, customers. This could be your personal life, you know, um, people from the past, people present, and people um, coming in in the future you don't even know yet. So we have Gemini, Sagittarius, Pisces, Leo, Virgo, and Taurus. Now we'll go for the letters. These are for the initials. First name, middle name, last name, past, present, Future people. Let's see. 11, please. 11. We have H, G, W, L, 
J, D, N, no, I'm sorry, W, I thought that was an N, F, D, O, one more, and M. So these are the letters that we have for you today. H, G, W, L, J, D, W, F, D, O, F. Now for the names. What names could Taurus be dealing with? Now, of course, this would be people in your workplace, your you know career, your, your personal life, whoever wants to come out. Past, present, future people. What's going on here? What are the names for this? Okay, let's stop there. Okay, we'll start with this one, and it's Dana, D-A-N-A, -A. and we have Joseph, we have Janae, J-A-N-A-I, we have Chase, Bontonio, B-O-N-T-O-N-I-O, -O. Felicia, Samantha, Keisha, K-E-I-S-H-A, we have Martha, we have Elvira. Ooh, I love it when I get exactly 11. And we have Tamika. T-A-M-I-C-K-A. -A. So those are your names. Okay, guys. I hope this resonates with everyone because this is a fabulous reading. And um, this, uh, I'm just so happy for you guys that it does resonate. So remember, though, it's not a personal. It's a general reading. So it may resonate with you. It may not resonate. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it does resonate. Please leave comments. I love you guys so much and I appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and your comments. And don't forget to hit the little bell to get notification of when I upload new videos so that you can view them if you, if you care to do so. Thank you so much. I hope to see you all again real soon.